Hi everybody, here is Jens from Tabletop Generals and I thought it would be a good idea to show you um, the projects which I want to do in the first three months of 2022. Um, instead of going for all the plans for 2022, I just want to you show some projects which, yeah, should be finished in the next three months. Uh, first, um, this dwarf army from Oathmark. Um, the heavy armored dwarfs with two-handed weapons, um, hand weapon shield, and then the lighter armed ones with spear and shields or with bows. And here is a second unit with a spear and shield. Uh, in the middle there are all kinds of champions and musicians, magician, king, um, all the things you want to have in uh, Osmark Dwarven Army. Um, yeah, I will not play Oathmark with them. I will play uh, Warlords of Nowhere. Um, yeah, and therefore they have to be uh, done. Um, yeah, some progress is made. Um, yeah, hope to keep them um, yeah, done, including the movement trays uh, for the units itself. So, uh, next up are the walls. Um, that's several wall sections. Uh, these are 6 inch, uh, 4 inch and 6 inch, 4 inch, 2 inch? No, not sure about that right now. 4, 6, 8. Yeah, 4, 6, 8 is 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch. So that's right. Um, these are for all kinds of settings, um, mostly for the American War of Independence. Uh, and yeah, they should also be done um, until the end of March. This is the look I want to have. Um, there's still some uh, moss and some yeah, flock to be added, but that's the kind I want to have when I'm done with all these. Uh, next, some fencing, uh, fences uh, for yeah, colonial style, so also for the American War of Independence, but they will also work for American Civil War and fantasy settings, perhaps. So, um, that stuff should also be done. So you see it's a lot of terrain I want to finish in the next month. Um, then some BEF, um, a 10-man squad, uh, not 10, 11-man squad for chain of command, and the 2-pounder AT gun. Um, yeah, that's um, reinforcements for my Brits uh, for chain of command. Then over here, already started painting the red coats. Uh, um, here the light infantry and two groups of uh, regulars uh, have, show, have red coats right now. So, no, not finished red, but the first coat of the red is done. So they should be also done until the end of March, if everything goes um, on plan. Um, more fences, uh, this time it's from Rubicon, um, very nice ones to get more variety in yeah, the linear obstacles on my table. Yeah, what's next? Um, some uh, stone walls. Uh, these are from uh, Renedra. Um, nice stuff. Um, these uh, will be for the fantasy setting or maybe medieval setting. Not sure, but they will look good on the table. So I'm um, really um, happy when I'm done with them. Uh, over here I've uh, got the uh, ruin set from uh, GW. So it's a second-hand one. Um, that's for the fantasy setting. 
Um, it's complete, uh, but the obelisk is missing. So I will take uh, this one, place him over there. I think that will look fine. And uh, here are some enemies for the dwarves. So it's an undead army. Um, uh, these dudes are from, uh, what's that, uh, Fireforge Games. Um, here they are from GW. And then more Fireforge Games. And these here in front are from Warlord Games. Uh, yeah, but the sculpts are from Wargames Factory, I think. So, and if the undead are not... Um, if that's not enough points, then I will add some more undead. So that's the project I'm working on in, yeah, behind the scenes, behind the camera. If you are not watching some battle reports. Uh, for battle reports, I will do uh, more World War II until I got the dwarves and the undead done. Or when I'm done with the dwarves and then maybe Jan or Marian came along with his fantasy army, then maybe there will be a battle report for warlords of Erewhon earlier. Oh, but that's um, the stuff I will work on. And then we will see at the end of March what is done. Maybe the table is empty or for something I have to go in overtime. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, have a good one and bye!